Level ups. Haha, -ha, you haven't leveled up. You have. Spell power. Hmm. I've got six spell points. See, with the siege, I learnt that oh, Enchanted Fog is actually a very useful ability. Spell weaving, which is good for the mana regen. Mana cost for that's pretty epic. Weakened by blood, I'm not particularly fussed about. So I want to max that one out. Mana rush or spell weaving or arcane swiftness. Arcane Fortification is also a very important one, and maxing that out makes it cheaper. I think I'll go for that one. Defense and a new skill. The Fomori units are a uh, blimmin. Well, they're not Fomori, they're just beasts. Extra damage against Fomorians or captured lo victory locations twice as fast. I think because they're going to be one of my main defenses against flying things in certain battles, maybe Fomori slap. But that's got strategic advantage of really capturing those points. I think I'll do that one. No. Right, you. Defense. 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 Ooh, you leveled up twice. Level up. Leadership. Now, in order to get that, and that has two points, I need... Oh! Okay, so I level up again. That would give me seven, which means I can get one on that. Which is five, and then I can get one on that. Which I like the idea of. I also need to. Huh. That's ah okay. So that's a. Uh... Why Morgana was getting lots of experience at uh, mana. I will save your skill points. Linden, you need to level up. Unit damage. That's cool.
Grey Companions, defense. I want your survivability to go up. Accuracy. More accuracy. Always the accuracy. That makes things slightly more convenient on the uh, finance front. Bugger it. Just really up that defence. Close. Close. And construction complete. The Master Bowmakers of Sherwood fled to Penguin to escape Sir Maddox's revolt. As a result, the... There are new quarries in the nah. hills of Poets that provide cheap... And there was nothing for you, so... That is... Turn. On my way. I have plenty of heroes. I have no armies to put the heroes in. Uh, William, you might as well go and sort on my way. That the Mad Emperor of Ibarakum, Septimus Sula, commands the Ghost Legions, the once legendary warriors who have returned from the mists of the other world. You can't fight an army where the soldiers keep coming back, so you must close the gates with the Shard of the Grail. One of these gates is on the lands of the Roman Caracallas. Yes, those Caracallas. I heard about them. They came across as a bit of an ass. As you get closer to the heart of the former Caracalla land, strange emotions fill your soul. Enormous energies rage around Hadrian's wall and your shard of the grail begins to pulse. You hear snippets of twisted whispering and a humming, but there is no one around besides you. Mm, hearing voices? Isn't that a sign of madness? <laughs> Even the landscape is unnatural. It looks as if it has been frozen by the touch of the winter. Tendrils of fog creep between the dead trees, and the ground is covered by a thin layer of ice. Your soldiers are cold, though it is not freezing weather. To your great surprise, the former Caracalla Villa is not guarded by ghost legionaries. You are relieved and anxious at the same time, as it may also be a bad sign. Your troops surround the building and you descend the stairs to the secret hall. When you step in, you see something very strange there. Oh, very strange, eh? You immediately see what the hall is for when you see the blood-red runes on the walls. The stub of a Roman marble statue holds a magical crystal that burns with a blue light. One of the walls is missing, and you only see an empty void in its place. Well, I shall examine this golem. The statue is clearly magical. Although it is unable to move, it is alive in some way. When it feels your presence, it opens its glowing eyes. I shall talk to the statue. What is your purpose, creature? You ask him. I guard the seal as you have ordered, your highness. Do you want me to give it to you? The statue answers obediently. 
Oh, this might be easier than I thought. Yes, I command you to give the crystal to me. The golem hesitates for a heartbeat. Then it answers you in a stern, lifeless voice. The crystal only belongs to the Emperor, and you are not him. If you try to take it, I must destroy it. This worries you, because it is dangerous to unleash the powers dwelling inside. Okay, I'll leave it for now and see if there's any way around this. I will go to the wall. There is only a blurry, flickering layer of mist where the wall should be. You see constantly changing silhouettes behind it. Your warriors are still busy finding out what you are looking for so you realize that only you are able to detect the phenomena. I shall touch the membrane because I have the survival instincts of a lemming. You carefully touch the wall with your hand and you feel the shard turn red hot. You feel tremendous power and terrible horror at the same time. You also sense the presence of a cruel entity which is trying to get inside your mind. Well, my mind is my own. This entity can bugger off. It takes a while to pull yourself together. Suddenly you are aware of the identity of that presence. It was the abnormal, sick essence of the Emperor of New Rome. This place was one of the most important sources of his power, so he still must have some connection with it. Hmm, maybe I can deceive this statue then. It looks like the golem has confused you with the Emperor for a minute, but eventually he got everything right. Maybe you can deceive him with the shard and the gate, but to do so, you have to connect with the ghost of the Emperor. This might be dangerous. Well, let's get dangerous then. You touch the wall with your eyes closed and cautiously begin to focus. Soon you feel the border dissolving and you enter another world. When you open your eyes, you find yourself in an endless corridor and you see strange living mosaics on the walls. The different sections of the mosaic depict various scenes, always ending in a different way. These must be the memories of the Emperor. The first one depicts a battle. The second one shows you a sad woman, while the third has Hadrian's wall in the center. I shall touch the first mosaic. In a heartbeat, you find yourself in the middle of a raging battle. Your legionaries are fighting in small groups surrounded by countless picked warriors. Your loyal centurion asks you for a merciful death with a poisoned arrow in his chest, and two officers try to get you to safety. I shall put him out of his misery and fight to the bitter end. It breaks your heart, but you know that you must do it. You stab your childhood friend. You return to battle fighting like a mad demon. Then the fatal blow strikes you from behind. When you fall to the ground, you see the smiling emperor. He grabs your hand and then you are in the corridor again. I must have done something right. I hope. The female face must mean something important. I mean, it can't possibly be her, can it? <laughs> you are standing in the Emperor's quarters. Your wife Navia stands in front of you with sad eyes. You clutch a dagger engraved with runes. A storm is raging in your soul. You want to help your wife, but you are unable to comply with her request. I can't let her go. I've brought her back from death. I don't want to lose her again. You sadly shake your head and lower the dagger, but Navia suddenly grabs your wrist and falls onto the blade. You stare at her in horror, but she acted in vain. She can't die. Then you blink and suddenly you're standing in the corridor again, still shaking from the shock. I examined the memories about the wall. 
You stand on the rampart of the wall, watching the charge of the Picts. A group of old men, women, and children are fleeing from them. They are begging you to let them in. Your second in command, who is standing next to you, glumly shakes his head. But we can't let them die like this. Open the gate! The guards open the gate, and the refugees try to get in as soon as possible, but the picks are immediately behind them in the chaos. In the next heartbeat, the wall crumbles under your feet, and you fall into the void. When you reappear on the corridor again, you see the grim wall on the mosaic. Hmm. As you raise your head, you see your own reflection where the mosaic was. You're wearing a toga instead of your armor, and your head is crowned by a bloody laureate. There are red lights burning in your eyes, and you are standing in front of a huge wall, so you have become like Septimus Sula. I wonder if this is going to backfire on me in some way. You return to the secret hall feeling uneasy. Your warriors are waiting for you, so you don't waste any time and order the statue to hand over the crystal. He obeys without hesitation this time, and now you are able to close the ghost gate. Ooh. As you leave the Caracalla Villa with the crystal in your hand, you think about what you've been through. You are not so sure how you feel about the Emperor anymore, or what you'd have become in his place. At least you are one step closer to overcoming him. Haha! -ha. The ghost gates are now closed, except for the one where the Emperor tore a hole in the veil of the world. You must return there and destroy the ghost legions once more. Although you can't seal this gate, you will be able to prevent the ghastly warriors from coming back and to weaken the Emperor's powers so he can be defeated. This will bind you in place though, leaving Morgana Le Fay with the task of marching against the Emperor himself. Yeah, I wonder if that ch was a uh, change in script at some point, because it's not him talking and the narration was different from what was written. Same broad strokes. <laughs> New quest, the Immortals. I have to go to the Tomb of the Emperor. Where I battle the Immortals. <laughs> okay. I... That looks terrifying. Impossible army strength, because of course. While I'm here, I might as well grab Castra Negra. On my way. You're here, here at last, at last. Southerner, Southerner. I've, I've watched you march, march across, across my, my land, land, bent on tearing on down, tearing all, down that I've all that I've built. Had I not, Had I not been, been bound to the seat of my power, power I, would I would have, have met, met you on the you battlefield, on the battlefield to, deal to deal with your, your rebellion long, long ago. But, but now you are, you are almost, almost within, within my reach. reach. You, you think, think you can, can best my, my grand, grand design? design? Then come, then come, challenge me. You, you may, may have defeated, have some, defeated of some of my servants, but, but know no, that they, they are not nothing compared, compared to what, to awaits, what you awaits you, my wall. wall. Sure thing, Emperor Donald Trump. Except I'm not going to battle you on your terms. Bugger off. I am just passing by. <laughs> Thankfully, I can pass you by. On my way. Bye. I'll just leave you shaking your fist in impotent rage. Now, where's that other idiot? There you are. No, you're Fomorians. There you are. I shouldn't have sped that up because now I don't know where you've gone.
on my way! Where'd you go? No, really, where did he go? Load the autosave. That's the downside to uh, trying to speed through some of these turns. You lose track of who's gone where. So there's you. Oh, did he just disappear? On my way! Right, William. On my way. You've taken that. Morians there. Oh, bagger off. Ready to serve. Right. Don't On engage my way. right now. Ways because that is vital. That's expensive. Castle. Oh, if I keep calling it castle, it's Castra Negra. Uh, HP. Actually, ignore that for the moment. Nobody leveled up. So, end turn. Ready to serve. Morgana, could you just catch him? Very weak. I can just auto battle that one. Get a bit of gold. Get some. Right, that will be it for this session. Sula will die. I am going to assume that next time we will finally defeat the Mad Emperor Septimus Sula, who is currently standing at his wall. That will be fun. It, judging from the narration, it will be Morgana taking on the Mad Emperor, because William's job... Serve. Thank you. You are always ready to serve. William's job will be to hold back the bulk of Emperor Septimus Sula's power. This will be fun. But until then, farewell. Farewell.